Who doesn't love them some Bob Ross? The smooth and sultry whisper of the man that taught us the joy of painting is now the subject of a new documentary film, Bob Ross, Happy Accidents, Betrayal, and Greed. After watching this documentary, you may change your mind about purchasing anything branded or licensed by Bob Ross, Inc. <music> This documentary brings us the shockingly untold story of the prolific landscape artist and host of The Joy of Painting. With a keen appreciation for nature and a kind and gentle demeanor, Bob Ross encouraged everyone he met to embrace their creativity and believe in themselves, becoming a cultural phenomenon along the way. The man who famously said there were no mistakes, just happy accidents, has brought sheer delight to the world for decades. Beyond the iconic hair, soothing voice, and nostalgic paintings lie a mystery that many have yet to discover. So as this documentary film began, I had this pit in my stomach that some deep, dark secrets about Bob were going to be revealed, ruining the image we all have of the man that calmly soothes our nerves as he paints exquisite landscapes. Let me assure you right off the bat, there isn't really anything in here that is going to tarnish your view of the man. Now, there may be one or two things that may slightly disappoint you, but it's not revealed that he eats children or slaughters animals or anything weird like that. The man we see on the screen is pretty much the man that existed in the world. This documentary is told mainly from the accounts of Bob's son, Steve, and Bob's best friend, Dana. Now, there are a few other interviews from friends and colleagues, but mainly the storytelling comes from these two filling us in on the details that are not widely known. I found it pretty intriguing that many other people were invited to be interviewed for this, but they declined for fear of being sued by the people that own the rights to Bob Ross's name, image, likeness, and just about everything else that has Ross's name attached to it. The film is 93 minutes long, and a good portion of this focuses on how Bob came to be the revered artist that he is today. We see how he moves from the military to helping teach people the techniques of another artist, to then how he crafted his own brand and became a worldwide sensation. I think a good 50 or so minutes are spent really showing us who Bob was, and it's a feel-good time. There are so many still photos that are shown that are then intermingled with the TV footage from his Joy of Painting shows. It gives us the opportunity to hear his voice and be mesmerized by the patient and calming art. The latter portion of the story focuses on the darker side of that story, where the betrayal and greed that are in the title, where those come from. The documentary does a compelling job of showing us how events came about and how it affected Bob, his son, and then even his legacy. As the story transitions into the darker part, the tone does have an effect. I began to feel upset, angry, even queasy at what was transpiring. The group that partnered with Ross and were at first financial backers, they begin to gain more of the focus of the documentary. Now, they're present throughout, and I think we can see where it's all headed based on interviews and archival footage, but as it gets to this latter portion, we get to see how much control they really had over Bob and everything that he was involved with. Through deposition footage and interviews with other artists, we also learn more about the shady dealings that were going on. I like that this is included because it gives us a more rounded picture than just the interviews with Steve and Dana, even though they're included in some of that footage too. The additional accounts help to give more legitimacy to what's being told because it's confirmed by outside entities. All of this is effective storytelling, and it sucked me into the narrative, just as if I were watching some fictionalized drama. And like I said at the very beginning, after watching this, you may find you have a change of heart when going to purchase a Bob Ross licensed product. I wish it weren't the case, but the info this reveals certainly is eye-opening. And even though the film takes a darker turn, it still manages to end with a slightly upbeat tone. The outcome is kind of bittersweet, but does have some goodness to finish up. So overall, this is a great insight into Bob Ross and his legacy. The documentary pulls back the curtain to show us some of the darker dealings and how they affected not only Bob, but his work, future, and son. The story is well told, building compelling moments filled with intriguing drama that are supported by many first-hand account interviews. There's no sex or nudity, a little profanity, and no violence. I highly recommend checking out Bob Ross, Happy Accidents, Betrayal, and Greed on Netflix, if for no other reason than to hear that man's voice once more as he paints some happy little trees. Are you a fan of Bob Ross? Do you ever just put on one of his videos to relax? Also, I think if anyone had the forethought to do so, they would have partnered Bob Ross up with Mr. Rogers and the human cast of Sesame Street to create some sort of superhero group that spread nothing but love and positivity. Sounds like a good idea, right? Well, if you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me. 
and I'm gonna put some happy trees over here, little happy trees. Oh, that's just nice right there, isn't it?